You're very welcome back. Going back to the classroom after the summer holidays can be hard enough, but it's especially daunting when it's a whole new school you're going into for the first time. It certainly is. Here to talk us through the challenges of making that transition from primary to secondary school for pupils and for parents alike is Aoife Lee of Parent Support. Good morning to you, Aoife. Hi, Aoife. Hi, Aoife. Good morning. It Hi. is a gigantic step, isn't it? Yeah. And I remember it myself. You land into this place and it just everything is overwhelming. Yeah. It's completely overwhelming. I think more so than we'd even think about. I, everyone remembers their first day in secondary school yeah. because you're that bit older. And it's it's a huge transition that I think for us as parents to be aware of. And a lot of us, it's it's more us even than the kids that are, yeah. are nervous. We, we have it not for another two years at home, but I'm already thinking about it. But um, yeah, it's massive. And there's lots that, that can go around in the kids' heads that... that they're thinking of that they mightn't even yeah. be saying. What know? are they worried about? Friendship is a big one, I know. Like, you've got your friends from primary school. Yeah, well, you've got your mates from when you're four and five years of age, whether you kind of build the, and establish those circle of friends. So going from that to... Often kids will move in groups from sixth class and they'll... Um, and some will kind of disperse to local secondary schools. Yeah. But they, they, they are worried and um, it, it can be quite daunting. And the... The ESRIs, the Economic Social Research Institute, would have done a growing up in Ireland study. Yes. And they would have come out with one in five kids are worried about making friends. Making, so, yeah. you know, we might take it for granted, but it's kind of, you know, they're starting all over. Yeah. Exactly. They're leaving that comfort zone, aren't they? Yeah. That's it, yeah. And, and even if you move together, you could be put off well, in different still, classes. Do you know what I mean? You might We've all been there. Together as well. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, the other thing is switching from one teacher to multiple teachers, multiple subjects, moving from different yeah. rooms. Yeah. It's all different. Yeah. It's all changed. And you're not even talking about, you know, obviously in primary, they just have the one teacher. But after that, then, you've got lots of different subjects to contend with. And with the teachers, then, it's different personalities, different yeah. uh, ways of teaching. And they just have to adapt to that, all the newness again. I remember being blown away by that when I started secondary school. The move. It was like, you know, like you see on telly, like high yeah. school. You know, and, like, and yeah. having a locker wasn't yeah. such a novelty. Weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's all of these... It's huge change. ...massive tran transition, yeah. and it can be daunting. Yeah, you know? what about th then kids that would have grown up, like, in a in a small school with, like, uh, all boys are mixed or whatever. Yeah, I, I was one, I, I think there was ten of us. I, I was in a small little country school yeah. um, and went into a quite a big secondary. Again, mixed uh, primary and went into single sex. All girls, right. uh, All girls, and my brothers are the, all the boys. Um, and uh, it's another one of those things that they, they have to adapt to. And some girls love the company of the lads and yeah. vice versa. So... You know, being it's an aware. adjustment, yeah. isn't it, regardless, yeah. uh, and the longer days. So what can we do to support the children if parents yeah. are tuning in this morning and yeah. the, their younger um, people are ready yeah. to go ahead with this? Communication, I suppose, is key. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we might take for granted. They're grand, they're happy out now, you know, because it's the, the first time that they're really um, going from being dependent to independent. And they, they've no kind of options, really, but to, to go on further like that. But regarding communication, check in over the next kind of couple of weeks. If they're not really talking, take the opportunity and go, look, how are you feeling? It could be where they're apprehensive. It could be that they're really excited, nervous. And... If you do get into that chat, even just kind of check in and ask them, you know, what is it that they'd like to gain over the next few weeks or what would be their focus for the first term? Mm -hmm. And it might be, do you know, I really just want to make a couple of friends. I want to get my head round, getting around the school and know where I'm going, organise my books. It's just giving them some kind of a focus, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, it, routine is going to be a big one as well because they're going to be working these longer days. They're going to, they're going to have more pressure on them now than they ever had in primary school. Yeah. So you've got to get into a routine pretty quickly. Yeah, they're going to be pretty wrecked. Um, the days can be quite intense. Um, a lot of the school days now maybe have six one hour um, an hour? Some some are an hour, oh, some wow. schools will be an hour, yeah. Um, other maybe 45 minutes. Yeah. It just varies from school to school. Okay. But um, they're going to be wrecked. And as we all know, summertime has been late nights, maybe later lions, or I know in our house, late nights, and they still get up early. Yeah. Yes. But... Um, uh, so mm. trying to pair back the, the week that they're about to start, pair back to trying to get them into bed that bit earlier. I mean, they're still young. They're only 12 and 13. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's just trying to kind of keep on top of that. And okay. they'll resist it, but it's just about encouraging. You're doing yourself direction. a favour for the coming weeks, yeah. really, aren't you? Yeah, because it's, 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 there's a lot to take on. What about uh, clear expectations from the teacher's perspective? Yeah, this is kind of like, um, obviously in schools and in the classroom, they have to set certain boundaries and expectations. Mm. So it's important in a way that the, uh, sorry, that the parents kind of buy into that early on. So 
the kids know everyone's singing off the same hymn sheet. It's like if all the adults at home, there's some kind of consistency. Um, and then it, it just in the long term, it makes it easier for everyone. And it's, it's supporting the school and how Do parents do still have, because you have a lot of contact with the school with younger children, uh -huh. don't you? Uh, there isn't the same level of contact no, for secondary. No, it's not like you can meet the teacher at the school game. Yes, yes um, exactly. So usually with parent-teacher meetings, it's kind of earlier on in the term. Um, and like that, there are year heads and class tutors, and they're the usual go-to okay. person. So maintain if there's a stuff relationship going on, with them, yeah, yeah. And, okay. and if something does happen at home, or there, there's been a change where you know it's going to affect them at school, make sure to, you know, as long as you feel comfortable, that you're happy to, to, to you know, yeah. approach. Another big change is the homework, because, yeah. you know, in primary school, it's like, do your homework that night, and you go in and get yeah. presented the next day. Yeah. But you might not have a class for another three days. That's it, yeah. yeah. And look, I'd be, I would have been guilty of it. I'll do it. You know, you might get geography on a Monday, and you've got the next class yeah. the, the, that Thursday. I'll like, do it on the lunch break beforehand. Yeah, yeah. Case, yeah. <laughs> that was you. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, we all did it. But what we need to bear in mind is getting the homework done on the day it's, it's given, it's fresh in their heads, because if geography isn't until that Thursday, it means, um, you know, you don't know what kind of stuff they've had on on the Wednesday, yeah. um, and you want to ease the load. So it's just to kind of bear it in mind. Yeah, get it know. done that day, okay. With screen time, because we know certainly 12 onwards, they're very into their screens. They've their own. A lot and they've a bit of freedom and, compared mm. to younger children, I suppose, um, or the right amount of freedom. Remove the devices from what time in the evening? I, I look, it's each to their own, but I would kind of say around the nine o'clock mark. Some okay. parents might be saying, are you joking? There's not a chance. Sometimes we're afraid to kind of insist, but we have to think of it as, you know, uh, you know, inc discourage the phones out and tablets out of the bedroom at night time. But take, take um, a, you know, um, a, a time, rate, you know, set it in stone mm -hmm. if you can because it's a distraction, it keeps them awake and they're yeah. checking their phones yeah. during the night. Uh, we wanted to get organised, we're running out of time unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. but okay. your big key is, is get organised. I want to smell it, the pencil. I love smelling new pencil new cases. New pencil cases. I love... <laughs> oh God, yeah. <laughs> Oh Does my it God! Take you back? That is beautiful. That is a love. That is a beautiful thing. I'd nearly go into Easton's and just sniff the pencil case. <laughs> oh in a minute. I love it. And new books, the new school books. There as you well. have books. Yeah, but I know. Be organised okay. is your key. You've got stickers here. You've so got different a, coloured folders as a, well. A big thing that can really help is uh, colour coding. So again, down to organisation. Let's say you've got your green folder. Yeah. Um, once the kids have got their timetable printed out and colour code the subjects, so they can see. Yes. Visually in their locker when they've got their subjects and then uh, co coordinate it like that. So um, using stickers to colour code. Beautiful. They've got lovely. the textbook. Okay, lovely. So, well, apply it and get organised and get sorted. You start these. with the very best of intentions. Yeah, yeah. I know, <laughs> I know. But it. all of these I got in Reed's uh, uh, Oh, in Reed's, right, yeah, lovely yeah. stuff. Okay, lovely Aoife, stuff. Aoife, thank thanks, you. Thank Cheers, you. thank you. Thanks a million.